Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around Central Texas looking for delicious restaurants that you won't want to miss. Get ready for a dining experience in the great outdoors. Kinda. We're checking out a new camping-themed restaurant near Southtown in San Antonio. Man, oh man. <laughs> They're good. Plus, we're going inside a Mexican restaurant reimagining traditional Mexican cuisine. And we're going to the east side of San Antonio to check out a pizza spot making some of the best pie in the Alamo City. Our first destination on today's show is a fried chicken joint located in central San Antonio near North Star Mall. Let's see what's clucking on the menu at Gold Feather Birds and Beers. Gold Feather is serving up fried chicken dishes that are southern favorites with the South Texas twist. I've been here like two or three times already. Everything I've tried has just been excellent. The most popular item on their menu their churro chicken and waffle. Waffle batter gets poured into a screaming hot waffle iron and gets cooking. Then, three chicken tenders brined overnight for maximum flavor and texture get battered in a seasoned flour dredge and buttermilk mixture and tossed into the fryer to finish. When the waffles are ready, they get tossed with a cinnamon and sugar spice blend and the whole plate gets covered in powdered sugar. Get some of your syrup, this is where it's at. Chicken and waffles, man, it's so good. The chicken has a really nice flavor to it, and you can tell from that brining process, the flavor goes all throughout. And then on the inside as well, from that buttermilk, nice and creamy, it stays moist. Outside has a nice crunch to it. And then you tackle it there with some of the waffle. Who would have thought? Trudos and fried chicken, they go together hand in hand. This is a killer dish. I like the location, the service is good. Also on the menu, a Nashville hot style chicken sandwich made with Texas toast. Butter gets splashed onto a griddle and the Texas toast gets toasted. A breaded and fried Redbird Farms chicken breast gets dipped in a house made Nashville hot sauce and placed on a bed of garlic aioli and topped with creamy coleslaw and house made pickles. The sandwich is also served up with french fries, get this, drenched in duck fat and covered in Parmesan and parsley. That was probably our third choice of bread before we went to the Texas toast. We're like, well, oh, let's just be different. I mean, we're, we're stuck on a brioche. One week before we opened, we're like, you know what? Texas toast looks fun. It's exciting, so let's try that out. <laughs> That's a good sandwich. <laughs> the crunch on the bread, that is fantastic. They're toasting this thing really nice. Tons of butter. You got three B's of Southern cooking, butter, biscuits, and bacon. They're using a lot of butter on this thing. All that slaw in there is a nice contrast to a lot of that little bit of spicy, oily elements in there. But the pickles have a nice acidity to them that's cutting through some of those fatty flavors as well. It's a really well-balanced bite. But let me tell you, you're not going to find anything like this at any of your average chicken places, right? This is a very special sandwich. It's really all, it's all the elements you want. It's fatty. It's a little bit sweet. It's a little spicy and it's gonna fill you up. That's a big sandwich. That's delicious. This new chicken concept is operated by general manager Miguel Mayagüeta, a food and beverage professional looking to bring a fun, dog-friendly chicken joint to the Alamo City. I've always wanted something like this where, where we have craft beer, good food, and then also sports like that, and beer to go. 
And then family friendly, you know, that's, that's huge for us. Miguel grew up in El Paso and moved to San Antonio seven years ago. He fell in love with the city and knew this is where he wanted to create a future. I let El Paso will always be home and I love El Paso, but it's super green here. And that for me was like, oh, was so amazing. Goldfeather is also serving up chicken wings tossed in sauces and dry rubs. There are a ton of other options on the menu, including salads, more chicken sandwiches, and of course, craft beer. You guys gotta come check out Goldfeather. It's the new chicken restaurant that's out here in San Antonio. It's at Park North, right by Target. Come check them out. I mean, you can get the chicken and waffles, you can get the chicken sandwiches. They have duck tacos, you got salads. It's a little bit for everyone, but overall, I mean, the food's rocking. This is uh, one of my favorite chicken wing joints that's popping up here in 2020 for San Antonio. Great options. And I love the Trudeau chicken and waffles. This is just awesome. this is a great idea. The Nashville hot though, you can't go wrong. I'm torn, I don't know. Now, we're cruising up to Fredericksburg to go inside of a bakery with decades of history. Let's see what's in the oven at Pritzer's Sweet Shop. This family-owned country bakery recently opened their doors after taking some time away from serving sweets. Uh, can I get the two of the chocolate chips? Yes. My parents bought this building in 1977. I was two years old and we lived upstairs and they bought the building for the real estate, but it had a bakery in it. And so they ended up running it for almost 40 years. They retired five years ago, and it was bad timing for me. I wasn't ready to take it over. And about a year ago, I said, let's do this again. And I wanted to do it way smaller and um, change a few things up. And that's what, I, this is what I came up with. Now, this popular Main Street sweet shop is providing old family recipes to hungry locals and tourists looking to get a bite of history. At the holidays, I bring in some of the really old recipes. Um, that are German, like a Springerly cookie. There's a wide variety of sweets available. One of the most popular treats is their peanut butter oatmeal cookie sandwich. Get this, dipped in chocolate. It has peanut butter buttercream on the inside and it's dipped in chocolate. It doesn't get any better than that. That's what you want. You want the crazy candy cookie combination stuff, right? You want the super sweet. I'm gonna give it a bite. If you love peanut butter, stop what you're doing and come and get this. Mm. The peanut butter flavor is very subtle, actually. It's not like in your face, which allows you to appreciate the buttercream, the texture of the cookie, and all the chocolate that's on the outside. So everything almost sings in harmony together when you take that bite. Then when you finish, it's finishing with peanut butter. So it's like this full symphony of flavors that you're getting all in one bite. And then peanut butter, bam, hits you at the end. Like, remember, it's a peanut butter cookie. <laughs> the texture on the cookie is perfect. Look at it, it's just chewy. That's amazing. <laughs> Another popular baked good, their sweet German pretzel. Which pretzel is just the shape. It's not um, a bready item. It's super flaky. If you've been to a German bakery, then you've probably seen something like this, right? These are the sweet pretzels. I've never seen one this big, though. This is a big one. And on the inside, a little bit of brown sugar, almonds, pecans, and you also have the icing that's all on the outside as well. I mean, look at that. It's a similar icing. It's the puff pastry as well, but it's in a fun shape. And I believe just because you have more surface area kind of wrapping around, you're also gonna have a different texture, right? And look at that. I mean, on the back side, you can see how caramelized all that sugar, the brown sugar that was on the inside just comes out. Gives it a nice color. One of my favorite cakes in the whole world is a German chocolate cake. And this bakery is using their old recipe for German chocolate cakes, but putting them into a cupcake form for easy eating. You guys gotta come out to Pritzer Sweet Shop. It's right here off Main when you come to Fredericksburg. Delicious, I mean, absolutely delicious. There's something here for everyone, whether you want the extremely sweet, you want the subtly sweet, you want something a little peanut butter in it, they got you covered. And I gotta say, the cookie, this peanut butter sandwich, that's where it's at. This is good stuff, man. Now, we're traveling to the south side of San Antonio to go check out a food truck that's making some wild creations. El 
El Remedio, a San Antonio food truck known for their birria queso tacos, birria ramen, and ceviche, now has a new item on the menu, the birria grilled cheese. The sandwich is made with thick slices of Texas toast that get buttered and toasted on a flat top. A mound of their popular stewed birria meat gets covered in a massive handful of shredded mozzarella cheese. The meat and cheese get mixed together and form the inside of the grilled cheese sandwich. After the bread is toasted on both sides, the birria and mozzarella cheese get added to the middle. The sandwich comes with a cup of consomme on the side to dip in, similar to the presentation of the Casey Tacos, but this sandwich is massive. So what you do when you get your grilled cheese media sandwich, you're gonna get your consomme on the side, it's gonna come in a cup for you. Check this out. Dunk it just right in there. <laughs> Take a bite. This is quite possibly the best grilled cheese sandwich in San Antonio. The sauce, the way they're preparing it, the mozzarella cheese, the birria that's already delicious, the consomme on the side, and the toasted bread, toasted to perfection with that butter. The food truck has become wildly popular in the San Antonio area and has even gained national attention. Now, husband and wife duo Josh and Martha have a larger food truck and a new location on the south side of San Antonio to better serve more customers. You gotta go online, follow them on social media to pre-order. Oh my gosh, y'all. Seriously, you're gonna want two of them. This is insane. Coming up later in the show, we're going inside of a camping themed restaurant where you can cook your own s'mores outside. And next, we're going inside of a Mexican restaurant that's reimagining traditional Mexican cuisine. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're going inside Los Azulejos, a Mexican restaurant reimagining traditional Mexican cuisine. 
These right here are the ribeye tacos. Check this out. I mean, this is like over the top, right? But this is Mexican fusion on the next level. This is like gourmet, high-end quality. You're in Las Vegas staying at a really nice hotel. <laughs> Food, I mean, this is where it's at. You have the tortillas, you have all that ribeye cooked to perfection. You have a nice medium rare, medium finish on there, seared on the outside, locking all that flavor. Just a little bit of salt and pepper on the outside, and they're prime. So you got all that nice marbling in there as well. Sauteed onions, guacamole, microgreens on there, and then you have poblano ash. That's all that's, that's put on top as well. That's just extra flavor, extra goodness on there. Another dimension that you wouldn't find anywhere else, especially in San Antonio. And then you have this beef bone chilling off to the side with a knife by it. All right, that's uh, butter of the gods, okay? So you just get a scoop of that, you throw it on top of your tortilla, you throw it on top of your meat, and these tacos are gonna be like the next level. Grilled onions, guacamole, and uh, poblano ash again. I use it a lot, I like it, you know, it's, it, it goes well and it, it's a good decor too. Well, I'm ready to give them a try. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit on top. And they're not playing around, y'all. These are huge tacos. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. That's incredible. And the, the guacamole has a nice acidity to it. Like there's like a little bit of lime juice in there as well. And the poblano ash, surprising, is a standout. The ribeye that's in there is killer, but then the poblano ash really accel accelerates that flavor. This is really good. The microgreens, nice texture on there as well. But see, I still got a little bit of that that bone marrow on top, so I'm gonna bite some of that now. That was really good. <laughs> that is incredible. It just melts in your mouth, y'all. All the flavors together. That, that little bit of char flavor from the grill on the ribeye, and that nice sauteed onion flavor in there as well. This is where it's at, it's a full, well-rounded flavor. And then you get double layered on the tortillas. That's how you know it's the real deal because you're not going to break through on that. That's sturdy. That's going to hold up all that weight, all those juices that are on there. An incredible dish. It's really going to blow your mind. And as you saw, I mean, that's a full ribeye thrown on this bad boy. This is worth it, y'all. I would come back just for this. This is incredible. Executive chef Daniel Mendoza has worked at multiple restaurants across the nation, including restaurants in Mexico. And he's influenced from all different kinds of culinary backgrounds, including French cooking. That's why this food looks and tastes incredible. Started at the Cordon Bleu Paris for one year, five years in the Guild of e, uh, Worked for Emerald Lagasse at the MGM Grand. Wow. Then we opened the new tower of the Venetian, the Palazzo Hotel Casino. This beautiful piece of artwork right here is traditional Oaxacan trayuda. I don't think I said it right, but it's like Mexican pizza. I mean, you can hang this up in the MoMA, y'all. Got all this beautiful colors in the middle, the different patterns on there of the different sauces, and it's nothing like I've ever seen before. And once again, you know, they're gonna take it over to that next level, so it's gonna be over the top. It's a traditional uh, Oaxacan dish. It's uh, made with uh, masa fresca, rosemary, a little bit of cumin. We put chorizo, beans, uh, black beans, and chipotle as a sauce, as a pizza. And then we put a little bit of shredded Oaxacan uh, cheese, a prime hanger steak, uh, avocado, tomato, a little bit of uh, slaw, a coleslaw on it, and queso fresco with poblano ash, uh, balsamic reduction, and chipotle mayo. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow. I've never had anything like this before. It's kind of like a pizza, kind of like a taco, and a lot like nothing you've ever had before. It's very good. A lot of great flavors on there. The edible flowers, the, the onions that are on here as well, the marinated onions the large slices of avocado, and then the sauces that are on top. And again, that poblano ash. You get a little bit on that bite, and it's gonna change the whole dimension of what you're eating. It's a bold, bold plate. This is an appetizer. That's an appetizer, that's bigger than, than my head, man. That's huge.
This right here is Alaskan flan. Now, it's called Alaskan, right? Because usually when you have those kinds of dishes, you're going to set it on fire, right? You're going to do what they're doing here. Now, you have that meringue that's on top that's been toasted. You have the flan on the inside, and you have the cinnamon stick that's right there in the middle that's been lit on fire as well. I mean, the flavor coming off of this. Look, it's still a little smoky. I'm excited. This is crazy. But here we go. I'm going to bite into it. Wow. <laughs> it's like this uh, Central American s'mores. That's kind, of, that's kind of what you're getting here. This is good, man. I love everything about this place. Can I stay in the back? Can I sleep in the back? Oh, yeah. Okay. I can sleep here, too. You guys got to come out to Los Azulejos. It is a delicious restaurant featuring all different kinds of gourmet Mexican food, things you've never even heard of, thought of, or even dreamt of. They got it on the menu. And the dessert out here is fantastic. And it's, like, again, it's something you've never seen. They're lighting cinnamon sticks on fire at your table for you. And then they're toasting the meringue right there. It's incredible. There's an outdoor patio area where you can come out and enjoy yourself. And you can stay safe outside as well as inside. There's nice social distancing going on. Get the dessert, though. You'll treat yourself. That's where it's at. Later on the show, we're headed to the east side of San Antonio to go inside of a popular pizza joint. And next on Texas Eats, we're going inside of a Sichuan noodle house on the southeast side of San Antonio. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. back to Texas Eats. Chifu Noodle is a new Sichuan style noodle house on the southeast side of San Antonio. We want to share the food, we want to share our Chinese culture and our story. They're serving up classic American Chinese dishes that everyone loves, but they're also whipping out some of the best Sichuan style noodle dishes in San Antonio. One of the most popular dishes on the menu, Dan Dan noodles. Dan Dan noodles are made with handmade noodles that get prepared with pork, peanuts, hot oil, preserved mustard greens, and Sichuan peppercorns. This is a famous Sichuan noodle dish, the Dan Dan noodles. Uh, you can see they mixed everything up. I mean, I don't know, there was a copious amount of seasoning and different spices and different oils and things that were put on top. And oh, it just smells absolutely incredible. When you come here, this is the dish to try. If 
know, you saw all the different seasonings, all the spices that went into it. But when you try it, it has this one uniform flavor that's a little savory. It's a little bit spicy, not like too spicy. And then it has this really nice saltiness to it. And then the texture of the noodles, it's like al dente. This is incredible. It's that unctuous umami flavor that you want. It's like a satiating experience. This is really good. I could eat this whole bowl right now. <laughs> but there's so much more food to try. Also on the menu, rice noodles made with tender stewed beef. This dish right here, this is the beef rice noodle dish. Look at that. I mean, tons of broth in there. You have that beef that's just stewing in the back. Oh, wow. This is a killer dish. The Dan Dan noodles and this, I would eat both of them right now. You can down them. And it's like, it tastes so fresh. It's the middle of the summer. This is a hot noodle dish. But it's really good and you'll want to eat the whole thing. General Manager Crystal Yi and Chef Wendy Jiang are not your average restaurant partners. Like she has two PhD degrees. One is in geology, one is in education. I have a master's degree. My mom always asks me, for all these years you've been in school, why you want to open up a restaurant? It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be really tired. Their passion for food and culture is the driving force behind the restaurant. How did you find out about this place? Total accident. I am next door getting my tire repaired. <laughs> and I was asking them if there's any vegan options in the neighborhood and they said no. I stumbled into here. And what do you think so far? It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I was I was absolutely amazed and excited and um, the prices are absolutely phenomenal and the food is fantastic. One of the dishes you have to try when you visit, spicy crispy chicken. If you want to try something a little bit different than you normally wouldn't try, say when you go to a Chinese restaurant, the spicy and crispy chicken is where you need to do it. I mean, they're not playing around. When they say spicy, it's like a whole ladle full of peppers. Look at this. They're not joking. You can eat them if you're crazy. This is like fried chicken to the next level. It's complex flavors reduced down to their simplest form to give you a really well-rounded bite. This is where it's at. This is a great dish. It's the noodle dishes and the chicken dishes, everything in between. It's all delicious. It's really, really good stuff. You're gonna wanna eat, I mean, probably enough for three people. But it's a hot day, it doesn't matter. Get, this, get the noodles. Later on the show, we're headed to the east side of San Antonio to go inside of a popular pizza joint. And next on the show, we're going inside of a restaurant where you can make your own s'mores outside. It's a camping themed restaurant. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back.
welcome back to Texas Eats. Camp Outpost Company is a new San Antonio restaurant located in the historic Lone Star Arts District near Southtown. Back in the day, uh, it housed all kinds of tractors, and most recently it had uh, coin-operated machines that were stored in there. The menu is inspired by the great outdoors, featuring juicy rotisserie chicken. Brine chicken is seasoned and placed on a wood fire rotisserie pit. It cooks halfway and gets finished on the grill to order. There are multiple sides to choose from on the menu, including smashed Yukon gold potatoes and house-made coleslaw. When you come inside the restaurant, you're gonna notice this big fixture right here, right in the kitchen. And this is the rotisserie area. They're par rotisserieing, they're par cooking the chicken, right? So that way, they're doing about halfway. They're gonna finish it on the grill for you though, which is awesome, because you're gonna get a really nice texture on the outside of it. This is organic chicken, so it gives you a higher quality protein. And check this out, this thing is juicy. <laughs> that's, that's just half of it. This is half of a half, it's a quarter chicken. Comes with a little bit of slaw, you pick your side on there, and I got some of these smashed Yukon gold potatoes, little baby potatoes. I'm gonna try all that, but first, that's the chicken right there. This is why you wanna come out, right? This is like something you wanna cook when you're camping. It's never good, though. You're gonna cook it on one of those outdoor grills that's at your campsite. It's not gonna taste right. You come here, it's gonna taste good. Here we go. That's a good bird, y'all. Oh my goodness, exquisite. The outside is nice and crunchy. That skin is just sitting on that grill. You see the flame shooting up on it? I mean, if you're a chicken skin person, this is where it's at, <laughs> okay? That is fantastic. But then we talk about the meat when you get on the inside. Nice and juicy, very tender, but it's got a lot of flavor to it. And that's a part of that rotisserie process, right? All that fat from the skin is going in and it's going, burying itself all the way down to the bone. You're getting a really nice seasoning all throughout the chicken. It's a really great rotisserie chicken. This isn't your standard one you're gonna find at a grocery store or something like that, okay? This is like elevated. This is something that you want to enjoy and share. Tell your friends about. This concept brings a fun, outdoor, dog-friendly restaurant to San Antonio. A spot to grab some tasty brews and check this out. You can cook s'mores at an outdoor fire pit. The idea of um, camp was to make it uh, fun and, and, and really the main aspect of the dining is the wood-fired rotisserie and being involved in this area is, I think is, is really um, exciting. Also on the menu, a giant rotisserie porchetta sandwich. This right here is the rotisserie porchetta sandwich. Check this out. This is where it's at, y'all. They got it on the rotisserie for a little bit to get it going, and then they finish it off in a pan. You have fried lemons and a little bit of jalapeno on there as well. You have a really nice aioli on there, a little bit of slaw, and then these buns. These are house-made buns that are brought in from Piatti's. I mean, this is where it's at, y'all. All right, I'm super excited. Oh, and they're using fennel. They're using a little bit of rosemary on the outside. I mean, this it smells fantastic, and it looks really good. Here we go. Here's the bite. Man, oh man, <laughs> that's good. Right off the bat, you're getting that fried lemon, right? So it's a little bit of that savory, a little bit of that unctuous flavor, but it's citrus, right? So it's gonna be a little bit acidic. It's blending in with the slaw really nicely. You know, that creaminess coming in from the aioli. And then you have that really nice porchetta on there, right? I mean, the fennel, the rosemary, all of them shine out so well. And then the bread on the outside, nice and toasted, so it's that crunch texture. You're hitting every single note you want. And on top of the fact, it's a big sandwich. So if you're really hungry, this is a great option. You guys gotta come out to Camp Outpost Company. It's a brand new restaurant here in the historic Lone Star Arts District. Great setting out there. A lot of space to socially distance. You can bring your dogs and the food is out of this world. The drinks behind the bar are killer. You guys, this is the new spot to come to. Later on the show, we're going inside a Mexican restaurant serving up some wild quesadillas. And next, we're headed to the east side of San Antonio to go inside of a popular pizza joint. Texas Eats will be right back.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now, we're heading to the east side of downtown San Antonio to go inside of a popular pizza joint. Let's see what they got cooking in the oven at Truth Pizzeria. This right here is a mushroom garlic pepperoni pizza out here at Truth Pizzeria. Check that out, man. It is just perfect in every sense of the way, right? Truth Pizzeria started as a food truck called Sula Strada, but now owner John Winkler is cranking out some tasty pizzas for everyone at this brand new brick and mortar. I like playing with fire. When I decided to do a food truck, the wood-fired oven was the most attractive. It took me a long time to, uh, to get this place started. I've been working on it for two years and got pretty close before the world shut down. And this pizza joint isn't just slinging out pizzas. They also got killer sandwiches on the menu. This is the Crockett sandwich. It has mozzarella cheese, Italian sausage, roasted red bell peppers, and caramelized onions. Now this bread, everything right here, the bread on the outside, it's all made in house. I'm gonna give it a bite. Looks incredible. And it's like a little panini almost. It's like all kind of smashed together. All on the outside, it's already baked to perfection, right, the bread, but then when it gets put back into the oven, it gets like a second life, so it gets a little bit crunchier, a little bit thicker on the outside, but then all of the cheese becomes gooey on there. The Italian sausage has a nice, like, fennel flavor to it. It's like some little seasonings that are in there as well. Everything shines through really nicely, but then the red bell pepper in there with the caramelized onions, that's where it's at. You can just give me a bowl of that. I'll eat it all day. John started making pizzas years ago after he received a strange gift from a friend. So this came from Italy 45, 50 years ago to Pennsylvania, then to Austin, and eventually to me. I've been feeding it since 2013. Feed it flour and water, and that's all the yeast we use for our bread dough. So this was, dough. this was in somebody's Italian kitchen for a while. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> If you're looking for a great pizza, you have to try Truth Pizzeria. They have an outdoor seating area and you can call ahead to pick up to go. From the sauce to the cheese and the dough, everything just melts in your mouth. It's the ultimate mouth fill you want on a pizza. It has that nice little crust on the outside, but then the dough's nice and tender. The pepperonis are so thin that they just melt. They just like eviscerate, right, when, they, when you take a bite. The mushrooms, when they go into the oven, they get a really nice texture on them as well. A little bit of the juice, the liquid comes out of there. It's just, this is the ultimate pizza. And I love that they have this brick and mortar now, because now I have a, a place to come to all the time when you want your fix. And the cheese, it's the perfect amount on there, so that you get this nice creamy bite. And then to cut through the fat from the cheese, that sauce that's on there, a little bit of acidity from the tomatoes, Everything just works. It's the ultimate well-rounded bite that you want from a slice of pizza. And look at that, there's no soggy pizza. It's all firm. This is where it's at, y'all. Mm. You guys gotta come out here. Truth Pizzeria on the east side of downtown San Antonio off East Houston Street. All this stuff is delicious. From the pizzas, the sandwiches, you will find something you love and you'll keep coming back for. For me, it's that garlic and then those roasted red bell peppers all day. In fact, I could just eat it like this. What if you just roll it up, right? You can kind of make your own, like a uh, little sandwich here, just out of the pizza. Is that how you got the idea? You just kind of rolled it, folded it over, and you're like, that's a sandwich. <laughs> Coming up next on Texas Eats, we're going inside of a Mexican restaurant making some wild quesadillas. The tortillas are where it's at. That's what sets the, the, everything apart. You can tell they're fresh, but they're thin and it adds a really nice vehicle for all the flavors. The green salsa's got a little kick to it. If you like spice, you gotta try the green salsa. It had a great flavor as well. The chicken thing, you can tell it's been marinated in that sauce. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back.
welcome back to Texas Eats. Taquicos is a Mexican restaurant serving up authentic Mexican food from Mexico City. Yeah, my husband actually, he, he comes here more than I do. He has like how many cars stamped already. <laughs> they have two spots in San Antonio slanging out delicious food, like their gooey, cheesy quesadillas. Masa for the corn tortillas is made fresh daily using corn from Mexico, and the tortillas are pressed and cooked to order. So I just water, mix it, and the secret is the hands of the lady that makes the masa. <laughs> so a little water, a little oil, a little salt, and that's it. These quesadillas are different than the ones you'll find at a Tex-Mex spot. The 8-inch corn tortillas get folded in half long ways and loaded with your choice of six different meats or veggies. The meats on the menu are shredded beef, shredded chicken, chicharron prensado with green and red sauce, cochinita pibil, and al pastor. Right in front of me we have the chicken tinga, and then you have the chicharron prensado, and that comes in like a red and a green sauce, and then it comes on the side, cilantro, onions, you have a green and a red sauce, all made fresh in house, some refried beans, and some rice. I'm gonna get to it, y'all, because this looks absolutely amazing. They're making everything fresh, including the tortillas made right there for you. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that green sauce on there. Eight inches, right? Eight inches. Oh, God. That's a big old quesadilla. If you can eat three of these, good on you. The tortillas are where it's at. That's what sets the, the, everything apart. You can tell they're fresh, but they're thin, and it adds a really nice vehicle for all the flavors. The green sauce has got a little kick to it. If you like spice, you gotta try the green salsa, had a great flavor as well. The chicken thing, you can tell it's been marinated in that sauce. And then the fresh Monterey Jack cheese that's on there as well, melted to perfection. A nice toasted texture on the outside of the tortilla. This is what you want when you're looking for something a little adventurous, but still feels like home. Really good. Owner Aldo Chiavon grew up in the restaurant industry in Mexico. His wife is an amazing cook who combined her style and recipes with Aldo's aunt, a 101-year-old woman with decades of restaurant knowledge. I was, I've been working in a restaurant business since I was like 25 years old. I have now 53 and uh, just it's in my family. I have a lot of recipes of my family, uncles, aunts, and uh, it's like a thing, we start with a, like a party thing, if like a saloon that we make parties and then we start like a, a they make a restaurant and that starts, everything starts there and then one day we want to migrate to the United States and we are here. Also on the menu, huaraches, flat corn tortillas loaded with beans, your choice of meat, lettuce, sour cream and cheese. It means sandal, that's what it kind of looks like. And when you're here, you can't forget dessert. After you eat your quesadillas, you're gonna want something sweet to go down with it, right? And you gotta get the Kiko. This is their dessert that they're making here at the restaurant. You can't find this thing anywhere else. It's a puff pastry, right? But get this, on the inside, it's Monterey Jack cheese, the same cheese that's in the quesadilla, and then it's a fruit that's in there as well. So it's like a paste of a fruit. All put it together, cinnamon sugar on top, and then a little bit of the secret sauce that I don't get to know about. I found out there's a little bit of tequila. That's about it. <laughs> this is like an over-the-top piece of like apple pie almost. That's kind of what it tastes like. This family-owned business is doing everything to keep their customers safe, including keeping the restaurant pristine with a 100 health score. So you guys got to come check them out. Taquicos, they've been in San Antonio for three years, just killing it, making delicious food. Their quesadillas that they have on the menu are absolutely incredible. There's so many different options to choose from, and you know you gotta try them with a little bit of sour cream on each one of them. And I highly recommend the shredded beef and the poblano peppers with a little bit of that sour cream on there. Can't go wrong. Texas Eats will be right back.
Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the restaurants that you saw on today's show, just head to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And don't forget to follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And join me every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12 to get even more restaurants that you won't want to miss because this is how Texas eats.